Webb Troy from Full Gamut Defense Arts, and we're going to work on the uppercut elbow from Muay Thai. So I have a specific use for this particular technique. I don't try to close the distance and throw it. Not saying you, you can't do that. This technique just opens itself up when somebody's trying to clinch you, trying to Muay Thai clinch you. And when you start to train this technique, okay, and think about this, when you're actually thinking about a clinch, you won't be so scared of the clinch. A lot of people, they get clinched up with and they forget about things like headbutts and elbows, okay? So specifically, he's coming in for the clinch. Now notice how I'm just combing my hair and coming up and that's just hitting bone. See, so that's, I'm just answering the phone. What I mean by answering the phone, or combing the hair as they say, it's a real small movement. So the mechanics of that, good stance, okay? And I'm just combing the hair, it's coming straight up, moving from my center, pivoting, and back. Again, no big movements. You can see that this doesn't cover much distance. That's why it's very important for opportunities like this. Coming in and doing it, sure, but really, really good for he's clinching. And look at the lead, and then look at here following through, okay? As he pointed out to me, we just filmed the previous version of this, and I didn't have the sound recording, but Troy pointed out to me, this is actually peeling the arm off when I'm rotating up. So if you are wanting to get out of the clinch, this is a good way to get started on that. Absolutely. Not a, this is specifically where somebody's trying to grab you or clinch you. It's not real good for like the body lock or over under clinch. We'll get into different techniques on that. But people forget to throw certain close range techniques, be it elbows or headbutts. They're not training it, they're not thinking of it. They get in the clinch and they sort of just freeze up. So this is a really good one for that. 